Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be sharing what I eat in a day with quick healthy recipes that you can follow as well and it's all going to be homemade. So let's not waste time and start with the first meal of the morning, which is my favorite. Let's make breakfast. I'll show you three options that I alternate with from Monday to Friday. But on the weekend, I usually make something fancy with hash browns, sausage, pancakes, waffles and all of that. And also the third thing that I make is my favorite, which you will see in a while. But let's first start with cutting the veggies for the omelette. Also having this handy compost bin is a life savior. Earlier I used to have like big bins but having this on the counter is really really helpful. Also this chopping board from Amazon is so lightweight. Usually I just throw in some spinach in the morning if I'm in a hurry but if I have a little time I like to cut some onions and also green chili. So I usually eat two eggs and I just have one egg yolk and for seasonings I like to keep it simple. I just add the basics salt, pepper, smoked paprika. And guys, one thing I want to tell you, which I had no clue about earlier, the usual cooking sprays that you get, like the olive oil spray or any canola oil spray or anything, they contain a lot of nasty stuff. So it's better to buy like a spray bottle. Just pour your regular oils and then you can just spray it. Also, sometimes I like to switch in between olive oil as well as ghee. I use this. So I'm making omelette right now. We'll saute some veggies now and also some cheese because why not? So I get this bread from stone mill. I have one bread daily and I need this in the morning. I need my carbs. Hmm, perfect. Okay, so for the other version, I don't really need to do any preps. I'll just throw some eggs. I have this guacamole pack from Costco. It'll literally take me one minute to make this next version. There's no chopping needed for this. Salt, pepper, oregano, some chili flakes. One thing that's a game changer in this recipe, it is this everything bagel seasoning. It's a mix of seeds. It tastes really good. Let's add some paprika and that's it. It's ready. One of the easiest egg recipes that you can make and which is very, very tasty. This is my favorite meal of the day. Hmm. And obviously, I can't miss my coffee, which I have from my Nespresso. Yes, I have a Nespresso machine and I love it. And the coffee also tastes so nice, straight from a barista. And I'll tell you my favorite pods is this arpeggio, the purple ones, the Cape Town. This is the Longo. And for weekends, I like to have my new favorite. This is Caramello. It has a really nice flavor of caramel and it's so tasty. Oh, and I also use oat milk in my coffee. Not that I have any dietary restrictions or anything, but I just like the taste of it. And this is something that I cannot function without. I need my morning coffee every day. And oh, wait, I need to show you another breakfast recipe that I make when I'm just bored of eggs. It's literally like you're having dessert in the breakfast. Chia pudding, oats pudding, whatever you want to call it. But this is something that you have to make a night before because for chia seeds, you need to give them some time to absorb all the liquid that you're putting. So definitely do this in the night. Half cup oats, some chia seeds. For milk, I don't use oat milk here. I just use a regular whole milk. So again, half cup milk. And for sweetener, let's use this maple syrup, just a little bit. So I'm adding some strawberries. And I really like to put banana in this as well because this is sweet and just tastes so nice. But right now, bananas are not ripe as yet. I'll also add some blueberries, a little bit of almond butter. There's one thing that I top it with in the morning. Just don't add it in the night because you want it to be like really crunchy. I have these chopped walnuts that I got from Longos. So you just have to throw it in. And guys, if you haven't tried this, please make sure to do that. Trust me, you will not be disappointed. And I'll just put it in my fridge. And guys, if you make this, don't forget to tag me as well on Instagram. Here's my Instagram handle, peekapooxo. Make sure you follow me there for daily life updates. And I'd love to see what you make after watching this what I eat in a day. And it's the afternoon and it's time for lunch. And for lunch, guys, I can't just come in the kitchen from morning till night. If I just keep cooking all three meals, I don't know when will I get time to work. 
So usually what I do is I sometimes get tiffin but the best part about my tiffin service is I don't really have to get it daily. So whenever I'm bored with that tiffin I just try to cook some Indian meals by my own. That's always so delicious and that's what I'm doing today and today I'll be cooking something that's comfort food for a lot of Indians. So I'm just going to roughly chop the onions and it's for this meal that I need my Indian food but it's really time to consuming that's why i don't do it every day but whenever i cook i make sure that i do it in bulk so that i can have it the next day as well so tomorrow's lunch will be sorted and for chopping i'll show you something which just takes few minutes to prep your veggies it's because of this KitchenAid tool that I got. I've been using this since almost three years now and it's so convenient. It chops it for you. There are two options. You can also chop as well as make puree. So for onions, I'm just going to chop it. You don't even get teary eyes by doing this. Again, this is a very simple recipe, but it's time consuming because when you make the masalas and everything you just have to just stand and wait just put some oil bay leaf black cardamom and now i'm going to cook my onions with some ginger garlic paste you also need to add cumin and i have all my masalas in this beautiful box right here which i got from india there's a very similar one on amazon too i'll put the link in the description box below so once that sizzles just add your chopped onion you know what i'm making any guesses my favorite everyone's favorite rajma chawal and once you're done cooking the onions just add the puree tomatoes you have to cook this really really well i know a lot of people who stay abroad they also freeze their masalas so that whenever they have to cook something indian they just take it out from their freezer and just throw it in but since i don't really cook indian food daily so i don't do it with the kind of schedule that i have guys with the editing and stuff it's not that i can't cook i can literally cook every meal that you ask me to but it's just the time time is really precious here that's why I just order different most of the times haldi, garam masala, coriander powder, a little bit of cumin powder, red chili powder, salt. I really miss India because of this reason. We were just served with all home cooked tasty meals and there we just had to focus on our work and not worry about cooking and everything but here you have to do everything on your own and guys do make sure that you cook this masala really well this is the step which is a game changer trust me in indian cooking you have to be really patient with this cook it till the oil completely oozes out of your masala make it all rich dark and brown and for rajma for all of you who don't know what rajma is is non-indians it's red kidney beans so i soak them overnight and then i pressure cook them and now they're all soft and mushy just add all of your masala in the same pressure cooker and again the secret tip don't ever throw the water which you use to pressure cook the rajma because again that is the game changer too second game changer in this recipe done and for rice i just like to add some ghee jeera not to forget kasturi methi and now let's call saranj but i want to show you some trick just to make your food look pretty put your rice in a bowl and there you have it and i like to have curd and some salad on the side i like to use this indian dahi with some boondi this is from haldi rams and you get a masala inside it which is very good Mm. Did I even make this? I really wish I could make you taste this right now. It's the best Rajma towel on this planet. Made by your chef, Peekaboo. Someone has cooked Indian food. Huh? Oh, look at the presentation. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Let's have, Let's have lunch. It's time to eat. This is when we watch something on YouTube. Because if we switch on Netflix right now, we won't get back to work. I'm not saying for the sake of it just because I made it but it tastes so good. I can literally eat this every day. Wow. 
It's perfect. So guys, I try to eat all home cooked healthy meals during weekday, but the meals are still not perfect and balanced because there's so many gaps in our diet which cannot be filled by food alone. And that's why we need to take supplements to fill in those key nutrients. And I want to thank today's sponsor of the video, Ritual, which is obsessively researched and transparently made multivitamin. And guys, I never talk about any product without using them. So I did my research because this is health related and found their story so fascinating. It started by a woman founder Kat. She was actually pregnant and was in search of prenatal vitamins in the market and she couldn't really find any brand with clean ingredients so she decided to make her own and that's why I trust Ritual so much because of their transparency when it comes to ingredients they use and why. I mean we all deserve to know what we're putting in our bodies right and here I'm taking essentials for women 18 plus to support brain health bone health blood building and antioxidant support they are also vegan friendly non-gmo gluten free allergen free and contains no added sugar and i'm telling you all of this because in the supermarkets when you go to bio multivitamins you really can't figure out what do they have it's so important to go through the ingredient list it's so convenient they deliver straight to your door so you never have to worry about running low and also by any chance if you're not happy with their products after 30 days they also refine your money no questions asked so there's no harm trying these right which is so gentle on your empty stomach so you can take your vitamins with or without food also there's a mint tab in every bottle that keeps your vitamins smelling fresh and i really like this added touch so it's never too late to start a new ritual and incorporate a healthy habit into your routine so you can go to ritual.com and use my code peekaboo20 to get 20% off on your first order and by doing that you're supporting the channel and your health and i really appreciate that and now let's prepare prepare our evening snack and for the evening I just have a fruit or sometimes make a smoothie but this video will be very long if I share all the recipes so smoothie will be for next time but now I'll just have papaya and guys it's dinner time this is when me and Saranj we cook together and right now he's not cooking with me I'm just cooking by myself because he's here shooting the video for me <laughs> but never mind let's just make our dinner and for dinner we usually have chicken dishes we don't really eat a lot of other meat and also we keep it all vegetarian during lunch so for dinner we have to have our chicken we need to get a protein and i've already cubed some chicken breast here and we are going to make halal cut so let's first marinate the chicken i'm putting salt oregano these jars that i've made are so convenient and handy if you want your spices to look like this i'll put the link in the description box below these are all from amazon the garlic powder paprika cumin powder olive oil lemon if the chicken doesn't change its color after you have put all the spices and the seasonings just add some more and also we'll be preparing our own sauce our own garlic sauce which is a healthy version of garlic sauce so wait for that and to make a golden rice just wash your rice and then season with turmeric a little bit of cumin paprika garlic some salt and then some water and then put it on the stove to let it cook until it's all soft next step is to make a healthy version of garlic sauce first you have to add some greek yogurt and then we are going to add some light mayo i know this is not that healthy but a little bit is fine and thanks to this peeled garlic that you get in canada this saves a lot of time and also this garlic press two cloves of that and now we're just going to add some salt some pepper and also some fresh coriander again lemon homemade garlic sauce it tastes good our rice is getting ready and we are going to make bed of salad for that we need lettuce and tomato and the base is ready so we have some seasoned rice here lettuce tomato and chicken on the side and now we are going to drizzle with some garlic sauce it looks so yummy and also one last thing drizzle with sriracha you need that hot sauce it looks so nice and also trust me it tastes really nice mm. Mm. it's really good because this is chef's kiss love it
and I really wish I had a nice patio sitting here these chairs are not that comfortable I need like a really comfy couch here so that I can eat outside because it's summer so why not we usually watch TV at dinner but it'll be so nice when we'll have some nice sitting and then we can sit and enjoy this yummy dinner and also with dinner I always need a drink sometimes I switch between kombucha and some sparkling water this is a flavored one Perrier lime flavor which I really like better than having coke anyways let's just go inside and watch Netflix and that's it guys we ate a lot of food today because obviously it was all about what I eat in a day I really hope you enjoyed this video and got some really good recipes to try it out and if you want me to do this video again let me know in the comment section below and what did you like did you like my breakfast lunch or dinner and also if you decide to make any of these recipes please don't forget to tag me on my instagram until then i'll see you next time bye